Hey guys, welcome to Linux Tips and Tricks. My name is Salman Francis and today in tip number three we are going to take a look at a tool called rsync. rsync is a tool to synchronize directories whether locally or remotely. It is widely used to create backups in Linux operating system. But did you know that a trailing slash at the end of a directory is very important while synchronizing the data? So for example, rsync-av, a means everything, v is for verbose, Zabbix without a trailing slash space Zabbix rsync directly uh, directory will give a different result from Zabbix with a trailing slash. So rsync without a slash or a trailing slash will create a directory with the same name in the directory you are syncing data with. For example, uh, in our above example, you can see Zabbix is going to sync data with Zabbix rsync. So now this can be very confusing. Therefore, dash n option is also a tip. Dash n is also known as a dry run. It will not perform the task, but will inform you with the outcome. So let's see rsync in action and you will have a better understanding. So for this, this purpose, I have already created two directories, Zabbix and Zabbix rsync. And at the moment they are uh, empty. You can see that. Let's touch a file, abc.txt, echo some content to abc.txt. Okay, now we have something uh, in this directory. Let's go to uh, Zabbix rsync, and over here you can see that at the moment there's nothing inside this directory. So now I'm going to run rsync dash av, and at the moment I'm not using dash n option and Zabbix with the trailing slash to Zabbix rsync. Now let's see what will happen. If I press enter, you can see it's uh, telling me that sending incremental file list and which is abc.txt and let's go to Zabbix rsync and over here we can see that abc.txt file has been synced. Okay. Now let's go back and this time use the same command without the trailing slash. Press enter. And now it's telling you that sending incremental file list, Zabbix directory and Zabbix uh, directory with the file abc.txt. This means Let's go in our Zabbix rsync. You can see that it has created a directory with the same name. Let's go into this directory. And you can see the same file. Now the problem is this tool can be very dangerous also. For example, what if I have changed something? In this file. Let's say I just added few important data. And I don't want this data to be overwritten in the file which is here, this one. I just want to overwrite that file which is in this directory, like this one. So let's see what will happen. So we are going to use the same tool, same uh, command. Okay, and we forgot to uh, remove that trailing slash. Let's see what will happen. Okay. Okay, we can see that we have accidentally overwritten this file. And what about the file which is in the directory? You can see it's not overwritten. So this can be a big problem. So therefore, we have an option in rsync which is called dry run option or dash n because what it's going to tell me if I use that option with the same command that 
Okay, let's try to remove that file first. to Zabbix or sync. Let's say we want to remove this uh, file. And let's remove this directory for the timing also. Just for example. Okay. If I go out and use dash n option, now let's see what will happen. You can see it's telling me that first it's a dry run. Okay, here. And it's telling me that it's going to send an incremental file. And what will happen if I use without a trailing slash, this N option? Here you can see it's telling me that sending an incremental files, like it's going to create a directory and then a file within that directory. But if we go to this directory, Zabbix rsync, we can see that it has not created anything. So I hope you have a better understanding that dash n option is very important. It's not going to perform the task, but it's going to tell you what will happen or what will be the outcome of that command with the trail or without, uh, without a uh, slash or without a, uh, if you use the slash or without the slash. So that's the tip number three, and I hope this has been very informative because whenever you are trying to back up some data, you can always check this with dash n option that your backup is not going to overwrite uh, the current files, okay, and what kind of task it's going to perform. We can also use, uh, let's go into this directory and touch a file xyz.txt and then here if we try to rsync this with dash n option you can see it's telling that it's going to create two files and if we use remove this slash it will tell that it's going to create uh, two files in Zabbix directory so thank you very much for watching i hope this has been informative so see you in our tip number four Goodbye.